God, you branded yourself so much. Okay, so here's, here's what we're going to do. This is how you find your Facebook pixel. And the Facebook pixel is the most important because Facebook needs to, needs to track who's landing on your pages. So when you have a landing page and people land on it, so when they see your Facebook ad, let's say this is a Facebook ad right here, and they click on learn more, they click on learn more, and then they go to your Karcher page. That's the opt-in page, right? That's where they can put their name and email and download your free PDF. Mm -hmm. When they click on learn more and they go to that landing page, Facebook wants to know that. And, and you, you want Facebook to know that because those are people who landed on your page and that's data. Because the reality is, is that as people go to your landing page, like for example, let me show you, um, let me just give you an example. Let's say for example, this was my ad and it says learn more. Mm -hmm. A person clicks on learn more and they come straight to my squeeze page. They come straight to my landing page. This is where I'm giving away my PDF, right? Mm -hmm. My Facebook pixel up here is tracking everyone who lands here. And the reason why that's so important is because here's the reality. There's gonna be a percentage of people that a high percentage, and, it, and, it, and it's just the way it is in every business. It doesn't matter what you're selling. There's a high percentage of people who land here but do not opt in, right? How many times have you went to a web page and you don't enter your information? Yeah, I do. Right? Happens all the time. But the beauty, the wonderful thing, the best thing is that you don't need everyone. That's what I'll try to explain to you in the last 10 minutes. The market is so big. When you're running ads, you're targeting thousands of people. The market is very big. So the good thing is we don't need everyone to opt in. I don't need hundreds of people to give me their name and number. I just need a few. If I can get a few every day, I'm good, right? So here's my point though. The people that land here, let's just say seven out of 10. Seven people out of 10 who land here do not fill out the form. Mm -hmm. But because my Facebook pixel is tracking that, I can then take those seven people and show them my next ad. All because my pixel was tracking it. Mm. So that right there is super, super important. So here's how you find the pixel. You come over here to your page and you click on create. When I click on create, I click on add and that's going to bring me to the ads manager. And it may bring you straight to this part right here. Let me, let me click on the green button. When you click on add, it may bring you straight here, but all you're going to do is just X out because all we're looking to do is click on these dots over here and look for events manager. Okay. So we're going to click on events manager and don't, 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 don't um, worry about trying to remember all this. I'm recording it for you. So I click on events manager and that's going to bring me back over here to where I can find my pixel. And this is what the, the, your, 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 um, your web developer is asking for. So you're coming over here and all you're going to do is you're going to click on add events. And you're going to click on that, add events, and we're going to choose from a new website. When I click on from a new website, it's going to bring me over here, manually add pixel code. That's what your web developer is looking to do. She's looking to add it herself. So all I have to do is click on install code manually, copy code, and then what you're going to want to do is maybe, maybe go over to your email. So now that I copied it, here's what you can easily do. You can easily copy it and then come over to your email and send it to her and email it to her. So, so now that I have it copied, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and hit compose and I can easily email it to her. So here's what I would do. What, what is that thing you copied? Is there a number? Yes, I'll show you. So I copied it and then I'm going to bring it over here to my email and I'm going to paste it. That right there is what she this? needs to put on your Karcher page. This? All that stuff right there. Now, don't ask me what it, I don't know what the heck that is. That's just, that is your Facebook pixel. So if you, if you took that and just simply, in fact, yeah, if, if you just set email to her and just titled it, my Facebook, my Facebook pixel, that's it. Okay, she said tracking number. Is that the tracking number? Yep, it sure yeah. is. 
Okay, she said she needs my tracking number to put and add pixel. That's it right That's there. Oh, wow. There was no way I would have found out what the hell she was talking about. Yeah, all that right there. That is that is your that's your Facebook pixel. So that needs to go on every Karcher page. So in my case, for example, with this, I put it on my page. And in fact, I can show you where it goes. So if we come over here to my pages inside of Kartra, let's just say I open up any page. So here's my Kartra. This is what she's doing for you. She'll open up the page and that entire code. So remember, all I did is I hit the green one and I copied it. Then I took it over to the email and I emailed it to her. She's going to copy all of that. And then she's going to come into your Kartra page. And this is where it goes, which she, you know, she obviously knows where it goes, but I'll, I'll show you for this example. But all she, all she's going to do is she's going to come into your page and it goes on every page, not just your landing page. It goes on every page inside of Kartra. So you come in here to your Kartra page, you click on the settings to the left. Let me click on settings. So we click on settings to the left. Mm -hmm. We froze. Yeah, let me actually, it's just oh. taken. There we go. Okay, so we click on settings and then it's going to open up and, we, and, and we're, we're going to tracking code. So we click on tracking code and then right below, there's going to be a, a a box, a space for Facebook. So we scroll down, we scroll down, and then right here, embed Facebook ads tracking code. And that's where, see, this is my tracking code right here. So that's where my tracking code goes. So yours would go there as well. So that right here, this long piece of code, that right there allows Facebook to track everyone who is landing on your page. And that's very important. It doesn't, it does not go just on the landing page. It goes on every page. So it goes on I every build, page. When I build the pages, this has to also go in every page that I build. Oh yeah, definitely. Now, now here's the thing. Let me, let me make this part clear. It's only required, only required if you're running Facebook ads. Okay. If you're, if you're not running Facebook ads, then, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. But it's 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 highly recommended and and it's because of this code on why facebook has so much data because anybody nowadays who has a website whether it's a website whether it's a landing page it doesn't matter let's just call it a website anybody today in 2020 and beyond anybody who knows at least a little bit about marketing anybody that has a website has their pixel on their website so that's how Facebook has so much data because everyone that has a website has their pixel on their website. And, and a lot of times, even if they're not even running Facebook ads, the person who is putting the website together for you, like in your case, you're a perfect example. Someone like you who may not even be running Facebook ads yet mm -hmm. is being told by her, de by, by her web developer, let's just call the, the, the lady a web developer, mm -hmm. Someone like you who's not even being who's not even running Facebook ads yet is being told by the web developer to send me your 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 pixel code. Oh, she's so, gonna use it to connect connect my ad. That's why she's asking. oh for sure, for sure. But my point is, even if you're not gonna be running ads right now, the pixel is still gonna be on your web page. Okay. So there's many people out there, there's millions of websites out there that are not even running Facebook ads, but the pixel is on it because they're, they at least know that much. They put the pixel on it, which gives Facebook data. So that's why Facebook knows so much because that pixel is on everyone's website. I didn't have, I don't have it. You're, you're about to have it once you send it to her. Yeah. Uh, well, she's not, put, I don't know that she's putting it on the website. I think she's putting it on the, if you go to my ad manager, you will see what, uh, where she's going to uh, connect it. If you go to my, my, my uh, ad manager, you will see um, uh, three different ads that is sitting there for now. 
let, let, let's look at yours. Can you share your screen? I don't know how to get there. I thought I, you have access to my, um, no, I don't, I don't have access to, to your, to your ads manager at all, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. Can Are you, you give me that thing that you did the other day where you requested a, um, uh, you made a request and I gave you authorization or whatever. Yeah, but that, that's not, that's not gonna, that's not gonna show it to okay. me. Let but, me, let me do this. Let me do this. Okay. I'm gonna, um, how do I, what do, where do I go from? I'll here? walk you through it. Just go ahead and, and share your screen. Click the green button below on the zoom. There we go. Perfect. So just go to your Facebook, go to your Facebook page and then I'll, I'll show you where to, where to find it. Oh, perfect. So again, click create okay, at the top. Huh? Click, click on create right there at the top in the blue. There you go. Okay. okay. And then click on add. And are you able to turn your volume up a little bit or is that as high as it goes? Um, I, I don't know why you can hear me very well, right? Or is that better? That's be Yeah, that's fine. If that's as high as okay. it goes, that's fine. Okay, so know. just like I told you, uh -huh. when you click on create, Get out of here. exactly, let's X out of there. Perfect. Okay, so this is where you would find everything. Now, what ads did here. you say you have, you have ready to go? Um, all these, but I'm going to run one at a time, trying to have, see each of this ad, I have two on them, right? It's mm -hmm. four campaigns. So one different, three different um, influencers, right? I well, have each one. Let, let's, let's open it. Click, click edit. Click edit. Yeah, there we go. Let's open it up real quick. Click on edit. Okay, so you're going for event responses. That I, I have no idea anything about. I just know that I'm supposed to just, see, see what I say at the bottom right here? A test. We're testing it. No, no, there's no testing. There, 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 there's no need for any of that. You're, the, it all starts with the campaign objective. Right there, if you run this ad, you're going to blow your money and nothing's going to happen. So I already knew this. I, like, I already knew this going into the call. Like, I already knew that I'm going to look at these ads and, I, and all of them are going to be wrong. That right what there is, is wrong. What, what, why? Why? Well, an event response is if you're, if you're setting up an event on Facebook, so you go to Facebook, you set up an event, and, and you put the date, and you have the time, and, and it's, a, it's a Facebook event. You have that set up on Facebook, not, not in the Facebook group, not on your Facebook business page. You just went into Facebook, and you create an event. Is that did, what I did here? Did you do that first? I don't know. Okay, I so didn't you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. So because you did not, you're going for a campaign objective of event responses. That right there is not going to do anything for you at all. At what all. What does that mean? An event response campaign objective is 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 running ads to get people to register for your event. But that that event is set up on Facebook. So if you didn't set up that event on Facebook, that's the wrong objective. That's number one. And number two, if you're looking to capture leads, if you're looking for people to click learn more and go to your Karcher page to download the PDF, that is completely the wrong event, the objective. From what I understand, what she did, and I don't know, um, wherever she gave me, just like we are doing, she recorded it and said, all I have to do is to, um, the Rock Your Brilliance fast track. Let, let's go to your Facebook real quick. Go to your Facebook. Uh, wait a minute. How do I find the, the people here? How do I find the, maybe this is not the one. Go back. No, there, there is no, there's no maybe. It's, it's not the one. I'm telling you right now, it's not the one. Yeah, it's not the, go, maybe it's not the one. Go, go, go to your Facebook real quick. Go to your Facebook. How do we go back to my Facebook? Yeah. Click on, click on home. Click on home. Actually, you know what? Click on events to the left. Click on events. Click on events. Yeah, right there at the top or on the left, whatever. Click on events. No, this must be an old one. This is not. Yeah. Okay, so click on home at the very top in the blue. Click on home.
Okay, so to the left, click on events, the calendar, click on events to the very left. Where is down, that? down, events, events, the calendar, down, 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 down. This is, must be an old, this is an old one because I don't have. Okay, so you're wrong. Okay, so here's my point. Here's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to teach you this at the same time. These are events. So if you set up an event like this for September 11th, let's just call it September 20th. If you set up an event like that, then mm -hmm. that is the objective that you would run. You would run events. Um, um, go back to the ads manager. The what, what events, um, what the heck is it called? Events, um, go back, events, events responses. That right there is the ad to run when you set up an event. But that, that, that's not what, what we want to do. Like you have a Karcher page, you have a, a PDF for people to download, you're looking to capture leads. So that's not what we want to do. We don't care to set up an event okay, on let's Facebook. Let's go back to where we were. Let's go back to that ad manager again. There were other ones there. Maybe I clicked yeah, on yeah. the wrong one. So this one right here, I'm telling you right now, don't run that ad. That's a waste of money. You don't even have it set up right. Let's accept, let's X out of that one. I'd cancel that one right now. Yeah, where is the where is the cancel? Just turn the blue, turn the blue to gray. That blue uh, circle, turn that, yeah, turn that to gray. And then click on the middle tab, ad sets for one campaign. The middle tab, click on the middle tab. Up, 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 right there, right there. Add sets for one campaign. That's the tab. Click on the tab. Right here? Yeah, right there. Click on that. And then, and then shade that blue to gray. The circle. Where? The circle. Do the same thing. No, no, the circle to the left. The circle, the blue circle. Shade it right to gray. There? No, 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 no. The circle. Right there. Okay, do the same thing to the third tab. Ad sets for one ad set. Click on that third tab. Don't click, no, 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 no. To the very right, ad sets, the third tab. You got, those are tabs, these are tabs. Campaigns, ad set, ads for one ad set. These are tabs. Right Click here. on that tab. Click on that, yep. And shade that blue to, okay, so that one's already off, perfect. Okay, so let's X out, X out of the- Oh yeah, this is old. Yeah, so, so. So what you want to do is you always want to make sure you turn them, turn the blues to gray, turn them off, completely off, turn them to gray. So let's X out of the one selected, one selected, X out of those. You got to X out of them. Yep. X, X, right out of it. X out of the other one. And then click back on the first tab campaigns. Right here. So these are, no, no, the tab up, 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 the tab campaigns. These are tabs, okay? So, so remember that. These are, those are tabs. Campaign, ad sets, ad. Those are your three tabs. That's where everything is at. So what's the next ad that you think you're going to run? This three, this three. Okay, so click on edit, edit. Why is it saying Instagram? I think this is an old one. You got to you got to shade those blues to gray. You got to shade those blues to gray cuz you're what not going to know which one is is off and which one's on. What is this? Is I don't know, you tell me. I thought you you had three set up ready to go. Yeah, but not this one. This is something old. Okay, so let's X out of this. X on the top left. Yeah, X out of that. Turn that turn that blue to gray. Get turn them completely off. Turn that to gray. Click Turn this middle tab, go to the middle tab. No, right no, here. no, to the right. Nope, middle, there you go. Turn that blue to gray. Click on the middle tab. No, to the very right, click on the middle tab. There you go, click on that one. And then turn that, that blue to gray. Do the same thing for the third one. Third tab, turn, turn that, yeah, tab, click. And turn that blue to gray. Oh my God. Okay, so now X out, X out of all three. One selected, one selected, one selected, X out, X out, X out. And then, and then let's go back to, yeah, make sure you X them out, X out that middle one. Now let's click on, click on campaigns, the first tab. Click on the first tab, campaigns. Nope, up, 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 the tab. Click on the tab. To the left, there you go. Click on the tab. Those are tabs. So where, where's the next one? 
See, so when you come into the dashboard, you want to be able to see blue or gray. Is it blue or gray? If it's blue, that thing is ready to go. It's on, or maybe it's it's set okay, to go. But you, if, if if it's not set to go, or if it's not, you got to turn it to gray. Always make sure you turn it to gray. So this is post engagement. Another another, in my opinion, waste of money. Waste of money. So so. I don't know if this is is this an ad that you were planning on running. How can I find the influencer? Maybe this is not the right place. No, the uh, influencer that has that that's that has nothing to do with that. Actually, that's 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 the second tab, but everything starts with the first tab. That's why when I come into a campaign, I always want to look at the first tab right there. Those are the tabs right there. So if you click on bottom, that's the second tab. If you click on the next one, that's the third tab. Go ahead and click, click, click the second one, the middle one. That's the second tab. Click. That's the third tab. So this one should have my short. Cam what is this speak on the summit no well this these could be old but i don't i don't think you have any ads set ready to go but i'm glad i'm i'm looking at all this because i do where is she where, okay um see i wish i could show you well it's all in here i'm seeing everything so just x out of that wait a minute now let's turn these off. Turn those blues to gray. Turn that blue to gray. There you go. Do the middle tab and then and then do the last do the third tab. No, you got to leave it. You got to leave it. You got to leave it. You got to leave don't un don't don't exit out until you do all three. So go ahead and click on campaigns. Click on campaigns and go back to that where was that it was I think it was that third one. You got to check the box. Yeah, to the left. To the very left. Left 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 left. Check the box. No, right. no, no, down. Check the box right there. The chosen path, uh, global shared. The one we were just on. Down, 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 down. Right there, right there. Check that box. No, no, not that one. Up uh, above. The box right above that one. Right here. To the left. Yeah, check the box. To the left. Right, right there. there. Check the box. Yeah, check it. Now, now click on the middle tab. And then and then turn that gray to blue or turn that blue to gray. I'm sorry. Turn that blue to gray, and then do the third one, third tab. And don't X out until you do all three. So go ahead and click on that one, and then turn that to gray, and then you can X them all out. So now X out one selected, one selected, one selected. Oh, the second one is still has yeah, blue. Yeah, turn that, turn that, turn that blue to gray. Okay, so now X out, one selected, the blue, X that out, and then now click on the first tab, campaigns. So now, now, now it's just easy for the eye. It's easier for the eye when you're, look, when you're color coordinating and everything. So click on the first campaign, the first tab. Right here? No, the tab, the tab, the tab, tab. Everything's about the tabs. Okay, perfect. So those are completely, when, when they're gray, they're completely done, they're off. Now, now that, when that's blue, which one's that? Click no on edit. Let, let's let's check the box. Or let's check, yeah, check the box. That's and, why I'm saying error. Okay, so post engagement, another, another, another waste of money. Now, now, here, here, yeah, it's just a waste of money. It's a waste of money if we're trying to capture a lead. So, so let me let me just let me just make this part clear. It all starts with the first tab campaign. It, it, it all starts with campaign objective. It all starts there. I don't care about the influencer. I don't care about your ad. It don't matter if it's a video. It don't matter if it's an image. It don't, it don't matter what you write. It does not matter the location, who you're targeting, women, 40 to 65. It don't matter about none of that. Everything starts with tab number one. If that campaign objective is the wrong objective, we're going to blow our money. I don't care how good the video is. I don't care how you're influ who you're, what influencer you're targeting. It don't matter. It all starts here. So if our objective is to capture leads, that's the wrong objective. Let me see something. You don't go with I, post I, engagement or you don't go with I, event I, responses. Um, if our goal is to capture leads. See that? She already set it up. She's, and she told me all I have to do is just 
Yeah, I just didn't understand what the hell she was talking about. She had three things. One was with Lisa, people that follow Lisa Nichols. And the other one. Oh, she. Counts. Um, hopefully it'll do it today. Like today. You see that? Oh, I got one. Yeah, so the easiest way to explain this is that these three, uh oh, it's moving on me. Let me just see. Side. These three are all different things. You don't have to worry too much about them right now, but just know that if you want to see individual ads, you have to click over here to ads. Okay. Right. So there's a campaign, there's an ad set, and then there's an ad. Again, that's a little bit complicated to explain, but for the purposes of starting the ad, generating leads, the part that you're going to want to know is that this has to be turned onto blue. So if I hit this, it turns to green. Okay, so that just means that it's off. Okay, blue so pause the video. Pause the video. Okay. Just look for that campaign. Where's that campaign at? I don't know. So go back to the ads manager. What's the title of it? You, you see it right there. It, it, there. There's the tab. I mean, you, you, there's the title of it right there in the blue to the right next to the blue dot. That's the title. So look for that title. Let's go back to the ads manager. No, the ads manager, the other tab to the right. You have too many tabs open. That's, that's one problem. You got way too much open. But to the right, the ads manager. To the, to the very right. Uh, hold on. The I'm tab is right up at the top. I'm getting nervous now. I'm so serious because I can't handle this. Thing. Hold on. I'm going to lose it. Okay. Yeah, the ads manager, that tab to the right of Facebook, to the right. right it's here? right there. It's, it's above the tab, ads manager. It's right at the top. Up. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. It's as manager right there. That's your as manager. So let's X out of this and let's go back to the dashboard. Okay. Where so X out of this part to the top left, X out. Right here? Yeah. Now let's go back to the dashboard and look for that ad. Which ad was? I couldn't read it. It was too small, but which one? It should be right here. Actually, you know what? Look, okay. I just found I just found the problem. You're in the wrong account. Click on that top in the very top. You see in the top left, you see campaigns, and then you know top left, and then you see Christy right there, the top, very top. Hit that drop down, very top, right where your name's at, Christy. Top. That drop down where your where your name's at, Christy. Oh. To the left. Right oh, there, right there where your name's at. Right. Do you see your name right there in front of you? It's right where the curse is at. Your name. Christy. Right here. No, that's your picture. Your name. Go to your name at the top. Christy, right there, above. Right there, your name. I to the right. Right here. Yes, your name. That's the only place your name's at. Yeah. That's the account that you're supposed to be in. Christy Ad Manager. That's the one. Click on that one. That's where she set up everything. Right here. So down. No, down. Christy Ad Manager. This is where she put everything. So she only has one ad so click on click let's do the same thing let's click on edit let's open up this one let's click on edit it has to be more than one yeah it's more than one okay so she's going conversions that's good okay perfect okay so let's x out of this get out here yeah out x here. out now let's click on the second tab ad sets for one campaign okay so now yeah, she's targeting exactly. Lisa Nichols. That's good. Click on click on the third tab. This is crazy. And those are all the different images. So she knows what she's doing. She's 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 good. She she's running a conversions ad. The whole objective is to get people to opt in. The whole objective is to capture a lead. It's not to get people to my event response. It's not to post engage and engage with my post. No, it's to, it's to click learn more and lead capture. 
that's what she has set up. That's exactly what you want to be doing. And she, and she's running multiple images, which is, which is perfect. She knows what she's doing. So what she said to me is once the, she, somebody connected, um, the, that lady connected, she has to click, I guess it's not to run all three at the same time, but I'm going to run one for like three days run the other one for three days or no don't maybe you don't run. you don't no you don't need to do that this this is all going to run at the same time but what you're going to do all of them are not going to be good i'm supposed to find out which one yeah yeah better yeah you'll find you'll find your cost per lead you'll find out which one's which one's cheaper than the other and that's when you turn them off you'll turn off any image that is not performing so so but you are going to run them all at the same time click on the ad set the middle tab. And then I don't even know, do I have enough money in here? Click on, click on edit right below Lisa Nichols, right below Lisa Nichols. Click on edit. There you go. Okay. Click on edit. And then let's, um, okay. So that conversion event, right where it says lead, that's not that's not active that needs to be active scroll down because and, and you, it's not it hasn't started running that's probably why it's not active no it, it doesn't matter it needs to be active first it needs to be active that red dot needs to be green so just leave it don't exit out just just leave it go back click on lead where am i doing Right there, click on lead, the red dot. Lead, right there below. Lead, click on lead. Right there. Okay, scroll down. This is too. More, 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 more. Go down more. Keep going, keep going. Automatic, Go. keep going. Show more options. Okay, keep oh, going. Now I gotta figure out the cost and all those things. Okay. This is okay, it. so so click on so X out of this. How do I right here? Yeah. And then and then let's click on the first tab, campaigns. Okay, let's click on edit. Okay, so she's going at click on no 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 down below the title. You're always gonna click on edit below the title. Right there. Edit. There you go. Okay, so click on that and then scroll scroll down in the middle below conversions, scroll down. Okay, right here. Okay, so she's going she's going yeah, see that? That's not going to that's not going to do anything. That's not going to do anything anything. Anything. That's going to get you zero. That's going to get you negative leads. What because you, what what is happening here? Because what's going on is it's only five bucks a day, but she set up many ads. So again, you got the, you got three tabs. That's all you got to know. You got three tabs. The first tab is the campaign. The campaign is conversions. The second tab is your targeting. That's Lisa Nichols. The third tab is your ad, the image. Uh -huh. So if you're expecting to spend five bucks a day on seven different images, that's not going to do much. You got to go, you got to go at least 25 bucks a day. That's why she said, that's why she said, don't run out of it at the same time. So that this $5 is supposed to be on one. So turn Lisa and run that one and turn the other one and run it and turn the other. That's what No, she you said. can't, you can't do, you don't want to do it that way because you're going to turn them off way too soon. You want Facebook to, to work it for several days. So, so, so what you, so it, it's $5 per day per image. If you're doing five bucks per day for only one image, it's not, you're, you're, it's going to take you forever to test. Okay. So, so you want to, that number needs to be at least 25. And, so and now, now keep in mind, you're not going to spend $25 a day for 30 days. You're going to be spending 25 bucks a day for a few days to see which image is your winner. I'm going to spend it for maybe no more than four days. 
No more than it, four days. It has to be four days. So you got to go 25 bucks a day for four days. And then when you, and then, and then on the fourth day, then you go look at which image that's, is that's bringing you a good cost. Right? What? That's $100. Yep. So what do I do here? How do I remedy this? Do I need to? 25. You, you turn that five to 25. That's all you do. Can you check, first of all, to see if I have money here? Yeah. And when do we tell them to stop? Yeah. When, turn that, when do we tell? Here, here's what you can do. Here's what, here's what I would recommend so you don't forget to stop it. Turn uh -huh. the daily budget to lifetime budget. Go to lifetime budget. Hit Where the drop down. It? Daily budget. Go to hit the drop down. Daily budget. Click daily budget. Okay, right here. Click it. Lifetime budget and go $100. So that click. means that once you get to be 100, it will stop. Yes. So show more options. Click on show more options. Why is the left side? This is changing stuff here. I don't know why. Uh -huh. Okay. So scroll down. Uh, okay, okay. So perfect. So, so that's the budget. The budget is a hundred bucks. So let that hundred bucks spend. And that's going to help you find which image is the best one. And whichever image is the best one, then you come back over here and you, and you increase that to go more. And, and, to, and to go more, it's only, it's whatever your budget is. So, so if, if 25 bucks a day is, 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 is not the daily budget after four well, days, you can drop it if you want. Okay. So but, but but you're dropping it already knowing which image is the winner. So okay. by the time you drop it in four days, when you drop it, at that point you're gonna know what image is the winner. Okay. So if here's you my, what's that? Challenge here. So one hundred once tomorrow is gonna start going, right? It's gonna start going. So which means by Thursday, Wednesday, I have, well, whenever, by Wednesday, it will stop. So mm -hmm. by Wednesday, I'm going to come back here and check. What am I checking this time? You're checking, I you're checking the stats. You're checking your cost per lead. You're che X out of this real quick. X out. So when you come to the dashboard right here, it's going to give you your results. So right there next to the 100, you see results. That results is going to be a number, and that results okay. is your lead count. Okay. So it might say 17 leads, results. It might be 17. And then to the right, you're going to have cost per result. So, right. so, so what it's going to show you, it's going to, it's, going to, it's going to start. Watch, click on the third tab. Let's, let's look at the third one because this is where you're going to be looking at, the third tab. Click on the third tab. Right here. This is where you're going to really – this is what's going to determine – what's going on. So click on, click on. Okay. So you clicked on the third tab, click on edit Under, underneath short Lisa, click on edit. Okay. So now, now you're, you're ha download short. Let's see. Short, short, short Lisa X out of this real quick X out. So we have long, short, and video. Yeah. So I'm you're going to be able to look at all of them, and you'll be able to see which one is giving you the lowest cost per result. Whichever one's giving you the lowest cost per result, you leave that one on. Whichever one's giving you the higher one, turn that one off. So when, when – um, is this turned on now? No, it's not turned on now. Okay, it will be turned on. How would it be turned on? When it's blue, it's it's turned on. But at the same time, click on edit. Go ahead and click on edit. Here's what's not in there. That's why it's still error. Click on edit. What's not in here, scroll down to the right, to the right side. Scroll down to the right. Yeah, right there. Scroll down. What What is not in here what I'm thinking, scroll down. No, to the, yeah, right there, right there. Scroll down in the middle, right there. Scroll down. Not the image to the, yeah, there you go. Scroll down more. Okay, so right here. 
So this website URL, preview URL, click on preview URL. Preview, you preview, are. right that's there, preview it, URL. No, click on preview. There you go. Click on that. Messed up because Perfect. So it's taking, it's taking you to the right page. All you got to do is just publish it. That's what, that's what, that's why it's still error. Cause you haven't published it. You haven't set it to go live yet. So yeah, so, everything is in order to go live. So she should be telling you all this stuff. I don't know why I'm on here telling you all this stuff. She should be telling you all this stuff. I got to go and listen to the, um, okay. Where are you? Um, okay. I'm waiting on this lady. Once she is finished, I'm going to remove her. Like we discussed, I'm going to remove her so that you can help me. Um, like we talked about, and so that you can get my link and I can register on the underneath you. Yeah, just just make sure you're not make sure you're doing it within the within the 14 days because I don't want you build. You're gonna get build and that's gonna that's gonna throw off it's everything. Gonna be done today, so my 14 days is not over. I think I'm about maybe eight days or whatever. I think. Perfect, perfect. So so once you if if it is today, then then let's let's talk let's talk let's talk on Monday. If, if possible. Okay, but do I just wait then and done? Um, okay, just uh, what else did I want to tell you? Okay, so once she's finished, all I need to do, why am I still having this? Where's the ad manager? Why am I still having this? So once I click, all I have to come here and do is to click publish, yep. right? That's it? That's it. And then all this thing will go away. Yes. Okay. Do I need yeah, to now, add more money? No. What What needs to happen? Yeah. Let's check the money part real quick. But what okay. needs to happen first? The re another reason why all those red triangles are there uh -huh. is because, as I mentioned, that dot is red. So, so what you have to do is she has to activate the thank you page. When someone goes to your landing page and they put their name and email in, they uh -huh. click submit. Send me your PDF. They go to the thank you page. That's the second page. Mm -hmm. That second page needs to be activated. The pixel needs to be activated. That second page needs to be needs to be up. Needs to just be needs 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 to just get registered. You need to just pull it up, and and that's what will turn the red dot to green because now Facebook will finally read it. So, so the, what she needs to do is to the thank you note is to activate it. Maybe that's why she's looking for the pixel. She needs to put the pixel on the thank you page. Okay. So that, that pixel needs to go on the thank you page. And, and what I would have done is I would have set up that thank you page under a custom conversion. I wouldn't have, watch, go ahead and click on the dots to the very left. Let's X out of this, oh. X out of this. And let's click on the dots. Let's check one thing before we check the billing. Click on those dots. To the left, the, 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 all the dots right there, right there. Yeah, click on that and click on events manager. See, what you need to set up, you need to set up a handful of things before you run this ad. I'm going to show you what they are. Number one is custom conversions. So right here, your custom conversions not set up. That, that, that right there is what I'd be doing. To run conversion ads, I would set up a custom conversion. I wouldn't do lead. I would create my own custom conversion. That's number one. Number two, click on the dots again. The dots to the left. Now go to audiences. Click on audiences. So here's the next very, very, very important thing. Let's see if, if you have any audiences set up. These are custom audiences. Okay, Greater Sacramento. Is that, are these old or are these new? I don't these know. are old. So check box, greater Sacramento, check the box. Those are from 2018. Let's get rid of those. You need to set up custom convert or custom audiences. Check the box. Just one, one at a time. Do one, one at a time. And then okay. delete. Delete. 
and then do the next box, delete, do the next box, delete. This right here is the most important. So before you publish those ads and make the ad go live. What does this mean? Click, check that box, get rid of that one. See, this is a whole Facebook ad training. She needs to be teaching you all this stuff. She needs to be teaching you all this stuff and she needs to be doing all this stuff. Number one, she needs to set up a, she, she should be setting up a custom conversion. That's number one. Number two. This one is just helping me. Oh, shoot. There are two different people. The person that did the other one is gone. This person is just basically helping me with the, my opt-in. And she was under the impression that the ad is everything is done. All she's doing is just connecting it. That's all. Just pushing public. So she's not running ads for you or teaching you any of this stuff? No, that's not why she was just telling me, giving me the opt-in. And I thought the other person knew what they were doing. This thing you brought, bring it up. You listen, if you listen to the video she did for me, you were just telling me just put publish. Well, I didn't know anything about this. Now you bring it up. This has to be done. Yes, it does. So because here, you didn't even look at the audiences and everything. Here, here's why this is so important. Oh. here's why a, a custom audience. Okay. That's where we're at right now. The other thing I told you was custom conversion. That's something separate that needs to be set up as well, but let's focus on this real quick. Custom audience. Why is this so important? Go to your landing page, top 10 mistakes. As I was explaining to you 20 minutes ago, click on the tab, the tab, go to your landing page, the tab, top 10 mistakes, open up that page. No, to the tab, the tab at the very top, go to your Karcher page. Top 10 oh. mistakes, your landing page. No, not that one, the landing page to the right, to the very right. Oh. To the very right, 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 right. Go to the right, go to the right. To the right, to the right, 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 right. Go to the right, top 10, it's right there. Top 10 mistakes, your cartridge page. Yes, right there. Here's why the custom audience is so important when you start running Facebook ads, okay? Here's why. When you start running Facebook ads, as I mentioned 20 minutes ago, People are going to click learn more. Out of 10 people that land here, seven of them are not going to fill out the form. That's just the way it is. Three of them will. And that right there will make you a wealthy woman, so don't even worry about it. Seven people, they saw your ad. They click learn more. There was some interest. They come to the landing page, and for whatever reason, they don't fill it out. Facebook is allowing you to put those people in a custom audience. Why is that so important? Because that custom audience is who I can show my next ad to. They've already seen my first ad. They click learn more. They've already seen my landing page. That's somewhat of a warmer lead or not lead, but that's somewhat, that's somewhat of a warmer audience. Why not show them another ad? But you're not going to be able to do that if you don't put them in a custom audience. That's number one. Number two, when the, when the, when the three people out of 10, when the three out of 10 who fill out the form, watch, let's see, fill out the form, click, click submit. Let's just test it. Fill out the form. Go down, click the submit button, go down, leave your name, scroll down, click the button, send me the ebook, click the button. Here is the next custom audience. So as that person clicks, send me the PDF, the people who land on this specific page, that is a quote unquote custom audience. Those are leads. Now, why is that so important to create a custom audience around everyone who lands here? Because now when I go run the next ad, I want to now exclude the people who landed here. Why do people need to keep seeing your ad if they've already downloaded your PDF? You need to be able to exclude them. So anyone who lands on this page needs to be in a very specific custom audience. So when I run future ads, I can exclude that custom audience from seeing my future ads. They don't need to see future ads. They've already opted in. They're already a lead. 
So if you don't do these steps first before you run the ad, you're gonna run ads, people are gonna fill out the form, they're gonna become a lead, they're gonna download your PDF, they're gonna keep seeing future ads. You're gonna spend way more money than you need to. And they're gonna get pissed off because they keep seeing your damn ad when they've already filled out the form and downloaded your PDF. Why they keep seeing the same ad, right? So, so that's why this is a custom audience. And what's the name of this custom audience? Leads. People who downloaded my PDF, that's the name of the custom audience. So when I go and set up my next ad, I can exclude them from ever seeing another ad. They don't need to see no more ads, especially if it's, a, if it's, if it's, if it's the same thing. Not the same ad, but the same topic. If we keep running ads, getting people to download the PDF, and we keep showing the ad to people who already downloaded the PDF, we're spending way more money than we need to. Does that make sense? Yeah. So custom audiences are the most important. You have to be able to, to create custom audiences. We need to know who lands here. That is a custom audience. I need to be able to know who lands on the landing page and does not fill out the form. That's a custom audience. I need to know who schedules an appointment. So if someone goes to your cart, your calendar, and they schedule an appointment, and they click schedule call now, and they go to the confirmation page, thank you for scheduling. People who land on the thank you for scheduling page, that is a specific custom audience. Those are people who already scheduled a call. So why do they need to keep seeing ads? They don't. I need to be able to exclude them from ever seeing another ad, especially if I'm talking about the same thing. Now, if you want to run ads talking about co something completely different, okay, well, then maybe everybody, your lead, people who scheduled a call with you, maybe they can all see it. If you're talking about something completely different and not trying to get people to download your PDF. But if we're running weekly ads and the whole objective is to get people to download the PDF, you better exclude those people who already downloaded it. You better exclude those people who've already scheduled a call. And that's custom audiences. So that has to be set up before you run an ad or you're going to spend way more money than you need to. And, and you're not going to be able to track anyone who's landing on these pages. You're not going to be able to track your results. You're not going to be able to track your, your cost per result, especially if the custom conversion is not set up first. So this is like a whole coaching program that I go through with people. I'm giving you way more information than, than, I, than I actually want to right now. Number one, I, 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 I want you on, the, on my Karcher link if, if I'm going to continue to you know, give you all this game. And number two, you're either gonna you're either gonna, gonna learn these Facebook ads yourself, or you're or you're gonna just hire me to go do them for you. So so you have the content. That's one thing that you need to you need to continue to stay focused on. That's all you need to focus on is the content which you're putting out. But the question you need to, you need to ask yourself is: Do I have the money to hire somebody to do all this for me, or do I have the money and the time to learn it myself? Because you're either going to watch every YouTube video under the sun to learn it yourself, or you're going to just hire somebody to teach you how to do it. That's kind of where, where I'm at. I, I, little, people literally hire me to I teach have, them how to I, do all this stuff. I want to hire you because I'm, I'm already getting headache. Right? Yeah, it, 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 it can be a headache for sure. It just, I just don't know what your budget is. Like, I, mean, I can see if I'm like January and I'm slowly, slowly learning, but I have something to do in, in November. And I have to keep that in mind. And this is not just, I didn't know what I didn't know. I thought from what she said, just uh, all you gotta do is just push publish. I like, it makes sense what you're talking about now, but she didn't give me all that detail. Now she's gone. I don't know. Yeah, that, that, that's the most important is, is the custom conversions. If we're looking to capture leads, that's number one. And then number two is the custom audiences. We have to be able to track everyone who is landing on specific pages. And so the only pages- I need to hire you without, because I'm getting headache. Yeah, but, but I, wanna, I wanna really make this clear. Let me say this in closing. The only three pages that we're really talking about is the landing page, 
this right here, which is the thank you page, that's number two. So you got the landing page, number one. You got the thank you page, which is this one. That's number two. And then the third page is the thank you for scheduling. And those are people who actually schedule a call with you. Those are the three pages. Those three pages, your Facebook pixel has to be on all three. And all three need to be set up as a custom audience. So we can start tracking everyone who is landing on these pages. If we don't do that, you're going to blow your budget. You're going to spend way more than you need to, and you're not going to, you're not going to be able to, to segment How any of these I lists. Make sure? How What's can that? I make sure that this, uh, so I'm probably going to tell her, do not push publish. Um, this, this lady that is doing an ad, but uh, doing a, my uh, opt-in because she's not into my, she didn't do my ad. She's not doing, she just need a pixel to put in there. And, um, that, that's really it for now. Well, especially if you're not going to keep this this actual Karcher account, forget about the Pixel. We'll set it up on the new one. Um, so but, but just basically tell her to just don't worry about it or what? Yeah, don't worry about it. You're done. Don't worry about it. So everything you already have set up in Karcher, I can easily transfer it. That, that, that takes two so seconds. what do you need me to do now? Um, I'm going to have her change, you know, correct something on this one so that when you take it, what do you... Because I'm really, I don't have the time. What do you need me to do? Just, just have her finish, have her finish the page without the pixel. The pixel is not needed. Just whatever touch up, whatever text, whatever image, whatever button, whatever. Have her just finish the funnel. That's it. And, and, then, and then what we got to do is we got to, and, and make sure she does that like, like now, right? Like finish it up like this weekend, like get, get it done now. Um, and then all we got to do is, is just transfer it over to a new account. And then just just see if you're going to actually have the time to learn to learn Facebook ads. And my one hour is trying to figure out Facebook. Yeah, that that's kind of and that that's kind of the 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 thing. Like that's the that's the issue. That's the roadblock that a lot of people have, is is they don't have the time to learn it themselves, or they don't have the budget to even hire somebody. Correct. You know, you know, because because you're gonna need a budget for the Facebook ad, and you're you're gonna need the budget to hire somebody. Well, let me tell you what I need you because see, you see the problem I already have because if the person who did this did all this, you don't have to do that. So that's the problem with going with one person and then another person and then another person. That is the problem. Yeah. Because if I have somebody that knows everything they're doing. They know where they left off. They know what needs to be done, right? And I don't have to be calling this person. And it, it's, it's too much headache on me. I don't have the time or the stress. So I need to learn Facebook, but not right now. I don't have the time right now. I need yeah. to hire you. I need to do a lunch. So that one is coming up. And, and I don't want different people to be doing different things for me. So to setting up that campaign for my lunch, for the for sales page and people buying whatever I'm selling and that is that is, that is all the same, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it doesn't do me any good to just go get this person, do this portion, get this person, do this. So I want all of them to be cohesive. Go to your um. Go to the ads manager real quick. Let's just check your billing. Let's make sure that there's a there's a um a Where card on file. Go to click on the dots to the left. And then um, click on billing. Let me get my wallet. Hold on. Hold on. Because this, this whole thing is really cash 22. If you don't have somebody to hire somebody, but you're not really moving a needle, you're still where you are. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. I, I get it. So, uh, okay. What do you want me to check here? So, let's, so, so you have two different accounts. The one that we spent time on in the beginning uh -huh. At the very top, click the drop down. 
That's the one we were trying to find your ad, but it's not in that one. Click at the very top of your name. Right here? Yeah, click right there. So we spent our beginning of the call trying to look for your ad in that account. It's not in that account. Click click it. Go to the drop down. It's that it's in that other account down. No, click yeah, click the drop down. It's on that bottom one. That's where you have to be. It's in that one. That's where you're running ads. Can we so, delete this one, the first one or not? No, just leave it. Click on the bottom one. Okay, so this is this is where you're where you're running ads from. So click on payment settings to the right. Where? Payment moving. settings to the right. Up. Payment settings. Okay, so Okay, so right here, you have no payment methods, and for whatever reason, mm -hmm. you can't even add a card. Mm -hmm. So for some reason, you cannot add a card. Does it allow you to click on add payment method? It doesn't, doesn't allow you to click on it, right? Old, okay, old account, let's hover over it. What did it say? Only add account admins can add payment methods. Okay, so go to um, go to go to click on the dots to the left. Where right here? Yeah, the dots. Those yeah, those are always the dots. Click on um business settings. And then let's click on add accounts to the left. Okay, so that's the one. Your name is right there. Okay, so you should be able to add a card. I don't know why. Right here. No. Let's click on click on click on um. Click on billing to the left. Do we, or actually click on payments. Click on payments to the left. Down left 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 all the way to left payments. All the way to left. Payments down. Okay, so add add payment method, add it here. Let's see if, if this will actually update it. No, down, down, select an ad account down to the, yeah, that blue, select an ad account and use as ad manager. Click on the words, select an ad account where is the select right there to, to the right right there right there in front of you select an ad account and use ads man yeah click there okay so this should this should um so this should be fine now so then you you're you're already added so these people have access to chrissy you can view okay so click the drop down right where your name is right below down 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 no down where you're right there yeah click on that your name right there okay so scroll down scroll down scroll down and right there manage ad accounts that gray circle blue right there okay save okay so now now you're good so now now let's go to um let's go to click on the three lines at the very top the three lines in the very top left very top left very top left, very top left of the page, very top left, 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 right there, the three lines. Click on those three lines. Right here? Yeah. And now let's go to billing. So Save. Chrissy's ad manager, click on payment settings to the right. So remember, it's Christy ad manager. That's the account you're in, Christy ad manager. Click on payment settings. Add payment method. So here's the challenge most people have. You know, when, this is why my clients come to, because you can't just assume that somebody knows something. If I don't have you, 
all these things that do, I don't even know where to set it up, where to go at the payment and all these things. So well, see, that's I the thing. $25, where is he going to get the $25? No, he won't get it because I don't have any card in here. That's why it blows my mind that she, that, that she would do, do that and, and just tell you, okay, everything is set up when there wasn't even a credit card on file to bill it. She should know that. Like anybody would know that. Like, so yeah, the fact that we had to put a card here, there was not even any anything on file. That just shows me how much, how less, they how. Didn't even check it. They didn't even check it. She didn't check it. She didn't even she check it. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, what am I? Is there an audience? Is there a conversion or whatever you said? Well, anyway. yeah, all that has to be set up. So again, it just it just comes down to because I got another call coming up. But it just comes down to what you want to do. Like, do you want me to so teach all this? Because I there's a handful of calls. I want to work. I want you to handle my account. Period. I yeah. See, I, I I really I really don't. I mean, I, I really don't. Like, I teach people how to do it themselves. I don't really I don't really maintain accounts monthly, um, especially especially for for anybody because I don't I don't it's not cheap. Like, I don't I don't know what your budget is. But but at the same time, like I, I it's not exactly cheap. Um, is it for, the cheap or is it that you can't do it? Which one is it? Because right now I'm at a quandary. It's well, I, I I can do it, but it's not it's not exactly cheap. How much is it? What I normally charge is is five hundred a month just to maintain it. But what I also charge is five hundred to teach you how to do all yourself. So the budget's five hundred no matter what. So if I'm going to teach you how to do all this, there's a lot of things we need to do. We need to spend, and, and the only reason why it's 500, you're the way I broke it down. It. I'll pay you the 100, 500. I'll figure out, I'll pay you. Cause I don't know what to do now. This is a waste of my, Ooh, I don't want to stress over this. And I go into Fiverr to get somebody. I don't even know. Yeah. Don't, e don't even worry about any of that. Do we have 500 to budget? Yes, I can budget and I'll tag it along in what I'm selling. Yeah. Okay. So let's just get down with it then. I mean Yes, yes please. Okay, please. so then can I can I so then so that the card I already what have on file. Today? What's that? Oh yeah, it's the same thing. What's that? The card you have on file, yes. Okay. So can I put five on that card? Yes. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to just simply transfer all the cartridge stuff over to the new account. So what I'm going to be able to do for you at 500 a month is manage all your Facebook stuff so you don't have to worry about none of this stuff. And I'm going to manage all of your cartridge stuff so you don't have to worry about none of that. Okay. So, so you'll have your Facebook ad budget and then you just, you just hire me to manage your ads, to run everything and to manage your entire Kartra, everything. And let's just go month to month. Like we'll just do one month at a time and, and, and go from there. Yeah. Let's do one month at a time. Go okay. Ahead. Perfect. Because I, I just, I'm stressing out here. And I Don't stress out. Go. Don't stress out. That's why I want, I want to keep this as simple. I can't even think because yeah. I don't have clients yet. And it's like, yeah. Forget about, forget about stressing on anything. All I want you to stay focused on is your weekly video. That's it. That weekly video. And, and what I want you to keep in mind and remember at all times is either in the beginning or during or after there has to be a call to action. The call to action is to click learn more. So you're either going to say that in the beginning, you're going to say it in the middle, you're going to say it at the end of the video or you're going to say it all three, whatever. But normally it's at the end of the video. You can also say it in the beginning of the video. But that's all I need you to remember. In the video, anytime in the video, click learn more. Download your free top 10 tips on mistakes, however you want to say it. That needs to be said in the video somewhere, some, some, sometime. That's it. Okay. I all I want you to focus on is yeah. one video per week. Let me take care of everything else. I need to wait for the opt-in to... So I guess when you finish your opt-in, I also need to give you my GoDaddy account because it's on, I have, um, yes. I need to give you the GoDaddy account because I have a domain, the top 10 mistakes. 
new speakers make. I have a domain for that. Perfect. That's Perfect. Perfect. Send me over that and then just have her finish the funnel. Do Once you have, she's. Do you, still have a, do you have access to my Catra or not? No, not yet. We're going to set up a, a new one. Okay. So, oh, that's right. That's right. So all I want you to do is focus on your one video. That's it. That's all I'm going to need from you. I'm not going to need anything else outside of. What we have to do is fast because of my 14 days. Yes. So, so she's be done today. We got to do this fast because I don't want to pay. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's what I'm saying. Make, let her finish what she needs to finish. That way I can just bring it all over to the new account. Okay. Monday is, is Monday good? Perfect. I'm going to email you my calendar. I'll, in, I'll, I'll, I'll email your receipt. Because we can do this tomorrow. Let's do it Monday. Let's do it Monday. Have her finish, have her finish the funnel this weekend. Okay. She's done with the funnel. All she's waiting is ready, the pixel. Okay. Forget about the pixel. We don't need the pixel. So if she's done, she's done. Perfect. Let's, I'm going to email you my calendar for Monday. Schedule a call for Monday. And then, and then whatever card I have on file, I'll just put the five on that card and then I'll email you that as well. But okay. Monday, we're going to transfer everything to the new Karcher account and, and we'll start the Facebook ads whenever, whenever you're ready. Not whenever I'm ready. I'm ready like now. So then, whenever. okay. So then let's, we got to set up, we got to set up the Karcher page first. So let's do that on Monday. Okay. Schedule a call with me on Monday. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna set the contract page, and then you're gonna set. Um, okay. We'll okay. we'll we'll set up the Karcher page on Monday, and we'll set up the ad on Monday. We'll get it all done within an hour. Okay. On Monday. Okay. Now, question for you on the one that you have running for likes on my page. Yes. I know. Had a question for you. I noticed that most of the people that are coming in. So the, the likes, when you run a like ad, that's targeting everyone on Facebook who fits the interest in your case of public speaking. But what a lot of people, what everyone has a, mis, a misconception on mm -hmm. is they think that leads come from likes. When you post on your business page, the reason why not many people like it is because not many people see it. That's number one. So whenever you post on your business page, most people don't even see it. Most people don't even see it. And that's why not many people click like. So it doesn't matter if you have 100 likes or it doesn't matter if you have 1,000 likes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have 10,000. Like if you go to my page, I have 10,000 likes. Mm -hmm. Very few people click like on anything I post because Facebook doesn't show it to everybody at all. So your leads don't come from people who like your page at all. The only reason why you want to have a high like count is so you can have that credibility. So when people land on your page, they see 1,000 likes. They see 1,500 likes. They land on my page, they see 10,000 likes. It's the perception. Your leads are going are gonna to start coming when we start running ads for conversions. Oh. So, so, so step one is, is making sure all your links are in order. That's what we're trying to do. Step two is taking your like count up so your page is credible. Step three is where we're at now, where we start running ads for leads. Okay, so so if that is the case, then one. Um, so I get that one. Thanks for clarifying that. Yes. Then another question is that when you have, um, see, I deal with book coaches, um, authors, and speakers, and even though it's primarily speakers, it's those people who wants to speak, right? In that industry, who wants to speak? But the dominating name is really speakers because otherwise I'll get wrong name. But when I start doing my sales page and stuff like that, you know, every now and then you hear me go, are you a speak? Are you a coach? And you have a you have a, a product or services, and you can't talk to market it and stuff like that. Depending on who it is, just thought I would let you know that. Okay. So now I know that likes it's okay. It doesn't really matter. But then when we start talking about um, leads, that's when it does matter. Oh, that's when, when, when we start running these conversion ads, that's what you have set up right here. When we start running that targeting Lisa Nichols, that's when we're targeting the right prospect. Right now we're targeting everyone who fits the interest, but now, but that's for likes. When we start going for conversions, that's for leads. That's where you dump all your money into. You start dumping your money into those types of Facebook ads, not the like ad. The like ad is a one-time thing. 
what we want to start doing is we want to start running a, a new ad every week to capture leads. So is, um, okay. Okay. And that's what I, you're bringing me aboard for is to start running those types of ads, but start okay. doing them consistently. Okay. Okay. Eventually I will learn it, but now my head is full. I just don't have the time. And I know I get overwhelmed easily when I got too much on my plate and I don't want to do that. I'm going to okay. email you my calendar and I'll email you a receipt for the 500 and let's okay. get down and dirty on Monday. Okay. Let's do that. We go live on Monday. We'll go live with a Facebook ad and we'll go live with the new Kartra page. Okay. I will do that now. Thank you okay. so much. You're so, so welcome, Chrissy. Oh. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you then. Okay. I'll you email you shortly. Send me the, um, the, what we just talked about. For what sure. I'll email it to you. Re recording or whatever. Oh, for sure. I'll have it up in no time. This is too much. Thank you so much, David. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.